Hello, and welcome to this special Dolby Atmos Composer tutorial about manual latency compensation when using Pro Tools. The Dolby Atmos Composer plugin automatically compensates for latency differences that happen when using plugins causing delay in a session. These delays occur because some plugins need to buffer audio samples before they can do their work, while other plugins don't need to buffer and can process samples immediately. These varying delays are usually compensated by the host in the mixing engine. However, since our Composer plugin uses a different type of connection when receiving audio from the Beam plugins throughout the session, it has its own compensation built in. Now on most DAWs, that compensation works automatically under the hood without needing any user input. Unfortunately, Pro Tools currently has a bug where the incorrect position is communicated to the plugin. And this is the basis for the latency compensation in the Composer plugin. As a result, we need to compensate manually. Once Avid fixes this bug, we'll publish an update to our plugins that will let automatic delay compensation work in Pro Tools just like it does with other DAWs. When that happens, we'll let you know in our newsletter. That, by the way, is a good opportunity for me to mention that you should subscribe to the newsletter so you can stay up to date with all the latest news. Let's have a look at our example session here. To create a rather lengthy delay of, in this case, 4096 samples, we'll use the Pitch 2 plugin that comes with Pro Tools. Let's bypass the plugin so there won't be any change to the sound, but we'll still be able to hear the delay. In this session, we'll have three channels with Beam plugins on them. The first audio track just has the Beam plugin, while the second audio track has the instance of Pitch 2 before the Beam plugin, thereby causing the delay. The third audio track just has the instance of Pitch 2, but its output is routed to an AUX track with another Pitch 2 plugin and a Beam after that. That means that before the signal reaches the Beam plugin on the AUX track, there are two instances of Pitch 2, and we'll see that their latencies add up. Let's listen to our session. And as you can hear, the latency is causing quite a lot of chaos with our beat. Let's fix this. The first thing we need to do is to make channel latencies visible in Pro Tools. This will let us know what value to type in for latency compensation. To reveal the latency amounts, go to View, Mix Window Views, and activate Delay Compensation. Now you can see three rows with various numbers appearing below each channel. The only value of interest for us is the one called DLY. You'll need to type that value into the sample delay field found on the About screen of Beam and or Spacelab. You'll notice the DLY value on the first track is zero. So in the Beam plugin on that track, let's leave the sample delay value at the default zero. On the second track, we see that the DLY value there is 4096. This means that the second channel has a total latency of 4096 samples. All of this comes from Pitch 2, since Beam itself does not cause any delay at all. We'll need to enter 4096 into the sample delay field of that Beam. The third Beam is on an AUX track, which has its own DLY value of 4096. However, since it receives audio from another audio track that also has a delay of 4096 samples, We'll need to add these two delays together and enter 8192 to the sample delay field of the third beam. Now, note that if multiple tracks happen to be routed to an aux or group, you'll need to take the value from the track that has the largest delay. And let's play back that session again. As you can hear, everything is now in sync. And that's it for this one, folks. If you like this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up and check out our other tutorials about the Dolby Atmos Composer. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to not miss our latest news, tips, and updates. There's more to come, so I'll see you in the next one.